Is this for Mon or Heaven? It's Vlogmas Year 11. Good morning, Virginia, and Happy Christmas Eve, or Merry Christmas Eve. Do you guys say Happy Christmas or Merry Christmas? Please let me know. It's giving coconut head, nobody's shocked. It's giving, it's giving. Um, we're here in Virginia staying in the barn again. I haven't stayed in the barn. I told Finley, I was like, I guess it hasn't been since after our honeymoon because we stayed in the guest house when we lived in Virginia for like a year. So we weren't living up here in this room and it's kind of changed a lot because they did rent it out to somebody in that time. I have my baskets of wrapped presents and then Finley's unwrapped ones are all on this table. We're gonna go out in a second and go hang out with family. So just be patient, okay? I have to update the vlog but there's like some recaining of some furniture going on back here and also some like paper down to protect the floors but we have certainly you know made ourselves at home again there's just a lot of stuff dogs a lot and so i'm wearing the same thing that you saw me in the last time that i vlogged except i'm probably gonna wear um, a vest over this i have this little carhartt vest that i think would be cute to wear today Honestly, oh my God, that's like giving everything. Wow. Give me everything tonight, Carhartt. For all we know, we might not get tomorrow. It's Christmas day. So I'm loving this. Also, I got it from one of my friends like vintage shops and somebody had put this on it. I don't know, they just drew it on there. But this morning I woke up, I showered, I got up a Patreon video of me reading The Velveteen Rabbit as like a little Christmas Eve story time. And then I got up my Vlogmas Day 23 and Finley went to go to the grocery store to get shrimp because we're doing the Feast of Seven Fishes tonight <laughs> with Finley's granddad and his wife. They're coming over. Um, so we'll have like dinner with family and stuff, but I'm gonna still like show you everything um, that I'm doing personally <laughs> over here, but I do have to go over to the house and I don't vlog over there and I'm gonna go hang out with whoever's over there and try to see if they have any avocados because I need it for bread and also I want to make some cookies today so we have lots of things in store so just wanted to say good morning and Merry Christmas Eve two hours later all right greetings loved ones and welcome to my baking segment I'm going to be making my Grammy's famous molasses sugar cookies you can hear Dinah the donkey heeing and hawing in the backyard. But I'm gonna put this recipe on the screen. It's super simple. All you need is shortening. I already melted it because there's no microwave over here. So I put it in the little air fryer just to warm it and melt it. Three fourths a cup shortening. All the other ingredients I actually brought with me from Vermont because sometimes my in-laws, they don't like to have sugar. They always have sugar replacements or something like that in their kitchen cabinets. So uh, could not do that for this recipe. I'm doing sugar in the raw, honey. Also a quarter cup of molasses. I got this fair trade organic molasses from my local co-op. Oh shit, I forgot my egg. I left it over at my in-laws. I'm gonna have to go grab an egg. But you do need one egg. And then I got a little sifter here, sifted all purpose flour. So I'm just using, unfortunately, not unbleached because this is just all I had. So you'll need two cups of that flour, two teaspoons of baking soda, mine's just in a mason jar, a half a teaspoon of ground cloves. It says in the recipe on the screenshot clover, but cloves is what you need. A half a teaspoon of ginger, one teaspoon of ground cinnamon, and one half a teaspoon of salt, which is optional, but I always put salt in my baked goods, so I need to go get salt from their house as well. Salt in an egg, salt in an egg. Put in a brain, salt in the egg. One minute, 37 seconds later. All right, honeys, I'm back, and I got my little bit of salt, and then I also have an egg in my pocket. Great. All right, let's do it. Let's have a baking with best friends moment. If you know, you know. And if you haven't been around since that long, then honey, I don't know what to tell you. Combine shortening, sugar, molasses, and egg, then beat well. Three quarter cups of melted shortening. One cup of sugar, quarter cup of molasses. And I'm gonna need to scoop that bad boy out of there as well. Let that soak. Now we will mix it well. Oh, that's great. Oh my God, I'm so excited about these cookies. These are like 
a family favorite, truly. And then in this little bowl, I'm going to combine my dry ingredients. Oh wait, this is pre-sifted flour. So I actually don't need the sifter. So for the dry ingredients, one cup of flour to start, two cups of flour to make a pear, and a partridge in a pear tree. I just realized that this video is actually gonna go up on Christmas day. So Merry Christmas day to all who celebrate. We're having a little cooking party. Opening here to make sweet memories. If you know, you know. Two teaspoons of baking soda, one teaspoon here, two teaspoons here. I just grabbed this one first. One teaspoon of cinnamon. See the clover, I get a little scared of because I have only a small portion of it left and part of it I actually ground myself. So it's a little chunky. This is half a teaspoon and it's not even full out. So we're just gonna do that in case people do get some chunks. And then we have a half teaspoon of ginger. And then we'll also do half a teaspoon of salt. I always use my measuring spoons just to mix around cause hell, I don't even care brother. I don't care at all, I'll tell you that much. And normally I don't use, well, I guess it kind of depends, but I don't always use a mixer to combine the two together. I mean, if I had my KitchenAid, that would be a different story, honey. But I think I might actually just use like a rubber spatula to do some mixing. This always feels like a lot of flour. Anybody else feeling like this is a lot of flour right now? Or that's, is that just me? I've made these many a time. I'm feeling like it's not wet enough. I'm gonna add some more shortening. Okay, it's kind of coming together. It is a little PC, but it is coming together. I'm getting so hot in my damn vest. I need to take this off. Mix well and chill for one hour. After chilling, shape into balls. I'm gonna take my rings off and we're gonna get in there, all right? We're gonna get in there with our hands. We're gonna really try. Almost as though you're making a loaf of bread, honeys. Just get in there and really just, just mix it, okay? Whenever I chill my dough, I do actually always like to chill it in kind of a ball like this, and then you can just break off chunks. We're gonna chill this bad boy for an hour, okay? I'm gonna wash my hands, I'm gonna clean off my rings, and we'll touch back then. One hour, counting down. Hell yeah, brother. One hour later. Okay, the hour's up, let's get him out of the fridge. Fantastic, this dough looks perfect. Rolling up my sleeves, and let's get to sugaring. Okay, so what you're gonna do is try to keep it all together and firm, okay? Roll it up into a ball. There it goes Dinah again. It's almost as if every time I talk, she can hear me. Then you'll just coat it in the sugar. I like to flatten my cookies, put them between two hands, flatten them a bit, put them on the pan. You even could roll them flat and then, okay, this is making me a little nervous. I may actually need two baking sheets as well. <laughs> <laughs> now that I'm looking at it, because I feel like this dough actually goes for two dozen when I thought that I would just make one dozen. You can also make them smaller. My Grammy used to make them pretty small. So I'm gonna do five to a row on my pan, um, but you could make them even tinier and probably do like six to a row and whatnot. I'm glad that we're having this baking moment together, by the way, because I really, for those of you who have been watching Vlogmas up until this point, also you can fully see my bump in this shot. She's baking with me. Um, I have really not had the time. I always thought that I would do it or make time on other days of Vlogmas and then would just be like running out of time basically or like having other things that I wanted to do and then kind of just getting distracted. It's really a hard thing during the holiday season to not be so distracted right? Like there's just so much going on and you can get so caught up in so many little things, but sometimes just doing a little simple baking is all I need to get me back to baseline, honey. So I'm making these tonight because we actually don't have, you know, sometimes when you come home for the holidays and there's like a bunch of sweeties, we actually don't have a lot of sweeties here this year. Finley was so funny when we got in late last night, only his mom was awake because we got in like at 11 or something like that. And we were like in the kitchen about to say goodnight to her and Finley was just rummaging through the cabinets and he like opened all of the, you know, like cookie tins and stuff. And he's like, what the hell? There's nothing here. Where's all the sweets? Where's everything? And she was like, sorry, like 
we didn't really have that many <laughs> sweetie gifts this year that we've gotten. And also, like, whatever we have gotten, we've kind of eaten it all. <laughs> like, you didn't come here until the 23rd. So I'm happy to provide some sweeties for the group, you know? Honestly though, Finley's family isn't really a big sweetie family, but um, I always do like to have a little baked good. Like most years I'll bring peppermint bark, some kind of a truffle, you know, something of that sort. Not always, but I do normally bake and bring something home. And then when I see my parents in the new year, maybe my mom and I can make this recipe together or another one of my Grammy's recipes. Cause I also have a recipe that somebody passed down in the family and it says Aunt Helen's blueberry cake. And I know, well, it's not really blueberry season right now, but that could be like a really good recipe to make as well. But my mom doesn't really make many cakes. My mom also isn't really a sweetie person. You know what it is, is like, I think that as you get older, you just stop having as much of like a tolerance or like even a sweet tooth. Like most of the older women in my life, like my mom, my mother-in-law, whatever, they will like be so sensitive to sugar. And it's really interesting because I feel like that's not always the case for everybody. Anyway, I have very sugary hands. I'm gonna bring this pan over to my in-laws and put them in the oven because we don't have an oven over here. And then I'm gonna bring over another pan and get to making the rest of these. And these go in the oven, by the way, at 375. There's some extra flour on the pan, don't mind that. 375 for seven to 10 minutes, but it says a note at the bottom, underbake rather than overbake. So I'm gonna put them in for like six, honestly. A little longer than a few minutes later. Lulu just followed us over here. She never oh, really does that. You're totally so welcome. Come on up. Hey, will you pick her up and show her to the camera? You used to get so scared of everything, and now you are the most bravest big girl in the world. Well, I accidentally didn't film myself taking the first bite, but honey, it tastes like home, and they're fantastic. The size is perfect. They're the perfect amount of softness. 375, six minutes. Don't do anything else, okay? Let's make two more dozen. of the dough just made one and a half dozen, but that's fine. I'm gonna bring these over and pop them in the oven, but I wanna wash the dishes and bring them back over there because they don't belong over here. First, clean up after your sounds, chickens. Okay, I'm gonna go back over there with my pots and pans and my cookies to put in the oven, and then I'll bring back a small little plate of them for us to keep over here as just our cookies so that the little monsters don't eat all of them, okay? Uh, Cause we are having some company over tonight, so who knows, they might indulge as well. So, okay, I'm gonna do that and then I'll show you how good they look when I bring over a plate of them, love ya. Two very boring minutes later. Okay, here they are. Perfectly cracked and crinkled, perfectly dusted with sugar, could not be better. I'm gonna take you off the tripod and show you up close. They just could not be more magnificent. Perfect recipe. So darlings, if you got some time and you need to do some Christmas baking, just to either de-stress, get more in the holiday spirit, make something last minute for your loved ones, then highly recommend doing this recipe. But I just wanted to do a little Christmas bake with me today. Love you guys. And I need to go wrap some last minute presents now. <laughs> Just two. Okay, I'm gonna go over to the guest house we used to live at and get some packages that I sent there and also drop back off this chair that we accidentally stole when we moved up from Virginia to Vermont because we have this exact same chair and we thought that we were taking ours but we we're actually taking the one that was at that house, like in the office. So we literally drove this back down just to give it back to them. And I'm gonna go unload that and then also get my little last minute packages that I've sent over there. I think it's like three or four packages. We'll see, honey. I'm gonna go check the mail. And um, that's what I'm doing. And Finley's cuddling the dogs, eating cookies and playing Pokemon as he should on his Christmas vacay. <laughs> Christmas be Hi, darling. Hi. No, I missed you. <laughs> I actually don't know who this horse is. You're furrier than the last horse that I met here. Look at the moon tonight. Just magnificent. It's good to be back at this house. 
It's good to be back at the barn with my little barnyard. Oh, don't bite me. Doesn't he look like a wise man with his little long hair and beard? You probably think you're gonna be fed, huh? No more pettings, because we don't know each other so well, huh? I only successfully found one package out of three, so that is dark, brothers. <laughs> Rural packaging is so hard. I had this problem all the time when I lived at that house. It's like they would deliver stuff to the barn instead of my house and then there was somebody at the barn who was renting it and she would pick up my mail or she would check the mailbox and she would take it to her house and I would be like, just, just put it on my front porch, darling. Just put it there. And so I actually just saw her and um, I was like, hey, did you happen to see any mail from me? And she was like, I did have one package. Where did I put that? And I'm like, please, God, this is a present. Please have it. And she did have it. And then the other one, I think, actually just was not delivered yet, even though it was supposed to be delivered yesterday. It was not. So for one of my mother-in-law's presents, I may just have to, like, print out what I'm giving her and be like, it's this. It's coming tomorrow, hopefully, um, or the next day, sometime after Christmas, you know. And then also, I have one thing just from Amazon that should have been delivered. It says delivered, but... She's not there, honey, so he knows where she is. No one can find her, but I'm gonna go start some last minute wrapping. I guess I just have this one to do, maybe two. What are you hoping to get for Christmas, Larry? It's goobalicious. Goobalicious. It's hot, hot. Okay, folks, I'm about to bring these over and put them under the tree. This is all Christmas, and I just went through my little like note on my phone, just making sure and double checking, so. Christmas and then over here is more Christmas presents some for my parents some for friends none of these need to be delivered like you know tomorrow so then that's the separate basket for that and then over here is Finley's birthday pile <laughs> birthday boy. So I'm gonna bring this basket over and then come back over here. We're not gonna have dinner for a little bit. All right, my darlings, all of my presents are under the tree. Thank Gord. I feel like a weight has been lifted from my shoulders, you know, of just getting that done and accomplished. People are slowly starting to trickle into the kitchen over there so that we could like, you know, just chat and hang out and uh, I don't think that we're eating actually. It's like six right now, but I don't think we're eating until like seven. So I may just go over there to hang out for a little bit, but I wanted to come over here and just tell you guys what we're doing, okay? So this is what happens every year on Christmas Eve here. Um, granddad comes over, he reads us Twas the Night Before Christmas. It's very cute. And then we hang up our stockings, which reminds me I need to bring my stocking over there. I'm gonna grab it now so I don't forget. Stocking, check. Oh my God, also, I just saw this again and I need to show you. But let me finish my train of thought. So we'll all read the book and then hang our stockings for Santa. So cute. And then, you know, our festivities will start in the morning again. But for the rest of the night, we're gonna have the Feast of Seven Fishes. Yeah, it's gonna be a lot of stuff, for me specifically, because a lot of times when I come home for the holidays, we have some kind of like a meat and then I just have the veggie sides, you know, which I'm sure a lot of you <laughs> can relate to. I mean, honestly, being pescatarian is a lot easier, especially like coming home here because most of the time we'll have like, you know, some kind of fish thing, at least one of the nights but a lot of the time it's like lamb chops, pork chops, turkey, ham, whatever, you know, just like Christmas meats and stuff, which isn't bad. I mean, Finley skin loves it, but I'm also just like, yes, I'm pregnant. I would like to eat a lot. So I'm going to eat a lot tonight. And I'm very much so looking forward to that because literally all I've had today was my avocado bread and my baby pouch and cookies, which is not good, you know? I did actually, no, that's a lie. I had a pregnant snack rampage while the cookies were in the oven and I found a bunch of little tiny cubes of cheese and I was eating those and then also eating a jar of marinated artichokes like a monster from the fridge. You know, like after you've been married or like in somebody's family for a while, like if anybody had walked in on me, I would have just been like, this is what I'm doing. You know, I would have done this at my parents' house. I can do this here. I've been in the family long enough. I'm not shameful about my actions, honey. <laughs> I think that's just the plan for the rest of the night. Just kind of hanging with family and seeing granddad and talking to him about how he's gonna be a great grandfather, which is very exciting. And um, yeah, hanging the heck out. But I wanted to show you guys this cause it's so effing cute. Finley and I had a little package waiting for us, like a present as soon as we arrived on our bed here. And we got in late at like 11, like I told you guys. So we were both like, is this, should we wait till Christmas? And then I was like, well, I mean, it's here on the bed. Like obviously somebody wanted us to open it like as soon as we got here and we opened it. 
and it's this little tiny dress that's perfectly crocheted with a little lilac ribbon running through it and there's like buttons in the back and flowers on the front and it is just so darling i'm gonna retie this ribbon so it stays but you would think oh my god wow what an amazing gift right but this doesn't stop here honey you know what else it came with a little tiny headband with a crocheted flower and then two little crocheted booties i died when i opened this our family friends gave this to us and had my mother-in-law like leave it on the bed or whatever oh my god i just like i'm in shock looking at this we haven't gotten much like baby clothes before we left the house i had ordered a couple of things it was like some muslin material clothing a little shirt and some muslin pants and then a little crocheted hat that it's kind of like a gnome hat like it has a little point at the top but it's like green it's all olive green kind of like this because i love this color and it's just so like natural and cute and adorable you know loved that and then i also got baby a onesie as well also in green also i got this question on instagram last night because when we were driving i did a pregnancy q a on my instagram story just like answering random questions which i never did in vlogmas but i did screenshot a couple of questions it's just so stupid because i asked for the questions on the day we announced our pregnancy on that video like vlogmas day one and there are hundreds of comments i think upwards of 600 comments on that video and so like going through all of them to find questions it was like silly me why did i think that i would be able to do that but i did screenshot shot a few when I was originally reading through the comments in like the first days when that video went up but I mean most of those same questions I answered on my Instagram story and I have a pregnancy highlight on there so if you're curious about any of my answers to like certain questions you've been wondering about definitely go and watch through the pregnancy highlight but um why did I bring this up Oh, this is why I brought it up is because somebody asked me in that pregnancy Q and A if um, I was gonna, you know, go with like super girly stuff now that I found out it was a girl or something. I forget the exact like wording of the question. And I was like, I'm not gonna, you know, go fully into like pink princess, all of that kind of stuff because also colors aren't gendered, you know, like I ordered a bunch of green clothes like before I had found out the sex of my baby because I was just like I don't know green is green but also like if my kid wants to wear literally any color I'm not gonna be like you can't wear that only girls wear pink and boys wear blue you know it's like um we're gonna have lots of color in our wardrobe I'm a very colorful dresser and so is Finley and uh we're very yeah loud with some of our outfits sometimes like looking at my suitcase right now I'm like there's a lot of color going on in there. I love tie-dye. I love all the things. And I'm sure that our baby will be wearing some things as well. Anyway, I just wanted to show you these little cutie pie things because, oh my God, I'm not sure how much we'll like get for baby for Christmas because obviously we're gonna have a baby shower and whatnot. So I didn't like put a bunch of baby stuff on my Christmas list. I mean, from my mom, I asked for a couple like motherhood related books. So who really knows? But the next video that you guys are gonna see from me will be my what I got for Christmas haul that I'm gonna film tomorrow after we open gifts. So you'll see then what I got and if any of it was for my little peanut growing in my belly, baby. But I also wanted to say before I end off this clip, this has been long of me talking, so sorry, but I just wanted to like do some random little sprinkling updates because this is my last like vlog, vlog of Vlogmas, which is crazy uh, before tomorrow is just like a sit down what I got for Christmas haul, which is also very exciting. I love those videos, literally incredible every single year. But I was really hoping to go to the Bull Run Festival of the Lights now that we're in Virginia, but Finley has a lot of wrapping to do tonight. And I don't know how long granddad's gonna be here. And I don't know how late that's all gonna like go on. And I don't wanna be like, we have reservations to go drive our car through a light show. Like, I don't know, unless everybody else is down and I like mention it and other people wanna come, we probably won't do that tonight. So I might just do that in the days after Vlogmas and probably put it on my Instagram story because it's magnificent every year. I just live for a drive-through light show. It's like so much fun. Um, and we did do that last year in Vlogmas for sure, 
but in past years, yeah, sometimes we've gone after Christmas and it's still super fun and just had it as like a little date night with just us two. I told Finley we were talking yesterday about, this is the last thing I'll say, okay? I'm really going on a lot of rants and tangents, but um, <laughs> Finley and I were talking in the car about like what we're most excited for, for this specific holiday season. And when he asked me, I was like, well, I guess I'm just excited to spend our last holiday season just us two you know, before we have like a literal family. I mean, we're obviously part of a larger family and stuff like that now, but I mean, like before we start a family of our own and have kids that we start making more traditions for and having little, you know, Christmas things and getting gifts for them and whatever, like it's not gonna be adult Christmas anymore. This is our last year of adult Christmas with all of the adults in his family and then going to see my family after the holidays and stuff like that. And like, we don't know what next year's gonna look like, you know? And so I just told him, I was like, I just really wanna cherish every part of everything. So I'm just, yeah, really looking forward to going over and just having all of our little traditions again. I mean, I don't think that like any of those traditions are gonna change, like reading the story with granddad or whatever, but like, we don't know where we're gonna celebrate Christmas when baby gets here and she'll be six months old basically by Christmas time of next year, um, which is wild that we'll have a six month old newborn uh, this next holiday season, so. Who knows about anything with the future? I'm not making any plans, okay, honey? But it is just nice now to think about the last year, us two, you know, us two humans. We do have a lot of fur children, but having a human baby is a whole different thing. Okay, well, <laughs> that ends my tangent for the night. I'm gonna go eat. Love you, thanks for listening. Just wanted to say if, you know, something is just kind of chill tonight or Finley and I just watch a movie or wrap presents or whatever, then that's just what it is for tonight rather than doing some kind of a Christmas light show or going somewhere or whatever, because it'd probably just be chill here and just with family. Okay, love ya. Later that same evening. This is the baby after having seven fishes. Let me try to remember them all. Ceviche, shrimp cocktail, some kind of a trout dip on crispy baguettes, which was delicious. Fish pie, squid ink pasta with mackerel sauce. It was actually really good. She crab and Caesar salad with anchovies was the last one. Good night, baby. Hi, everybody. Happy <laughs> Vlogmas. <laughs> He's so tired. He has still some wrapping to do on Christmas morning, but he got some stuff done tonight. Anyway, I just edited the vlog up until this point and we had a very chill night, you know, it was good just with family and everything and then coming back here and literally just editing and hanging out. I think I'm just gonna hit the hay. I'm in my Merry Christmas docks and jammies from last year and my little boxer shorts as well, which you can't see. And then in the morning, I'm just gonna put on my Christmas onesie and open presents. And then I'll show you all of them in my what I got for Christmas haul. But I can't believe this is the last like vlog vlog of Vlogmas still. Um, it was a really special year, just like being able to show you guys so many fun new things in Vermont. And also just, yeah, having the baby is part of Vlogmas has been, well, you know, with the headaches and stuff, it was tumultuous for a little bit, but my headaches have actually gotten a lot better and just less crazy. And I just feel more like chill with my symptoms. And just like everybody says, like second trimester is just the best. Like I'm feeling those feelings right now. And, you know, just seeing so many family members and stuff, everybody's just like, how are you feeling? And I'm, I have no complaints. <laughs> Whereas with the first trimester, I'll be like, I feel so sick. Thanks for asking. <laughs> I was just like happy to be able to like vent about it to people. But now I feel like I don't have much to say other than I'm pregnant 18 weeks on Tuesday. So yeah. Anyway, I love you guys. And I hope you have a very happy holiday season. Whatever you celebrate, very Merry Christmas if that's what you do. And I just can't believe it. Vlogmas year 11, kind of coming to an end. But I'll see you guys for my haul and then we will probably just regroup and chat and you'll see my life all over again in the new year. <laughs> if you wanna support me on Patreon, you know where to do it. And I will just see you guys tomorrow for my what I got for Christmas haul. Okay, love you, stay smiling, bye y'all.